we in Africa have no more need of being converted than we have of being taught democracy. Both are rooted in our past and traditional society which produced us. Let's journey into the evolution of Africa before colonialism and explore the future of Africa. You can only evolve if you know where you're evolving from. And it's a pleasure to travel with you into the evolution of this beautiful African continent. Now, today's insert has nothing to do with snotty-nosed kids or singing or dancing. Not that we don't want to acknowledge the fact that Africa has a high poverty rate or that we don't want to embrace our Africanism through dancing and singing. Well, today we will be interviewing a prominent entrepreneur and this is just to highlight the many and thousands of Africans who are working on rebuilding the new Africa. Africa has been a key continent in the development of the modern and historical world. A continent layered with rich history of wise kings and queens, riding on horses with royal jewelry, worn with pride. Sankore in Timbuktu was the first and oldest university in the world, which laid the foundation of respecting education and art. We are inventors of clans, culture and medicine, founders of spiritual belief and the instigators of evolution. Let's disrupt the system, but before we do that, we need to analyze it. We are not African because we are born in Africa. Not only do we need to analyze it, but we need to question it. And we need to pick on it layer by layer. We are African because Africa is born in us. Educate your mind and liberate your life. Let's take a look at Moses' story. My name is Moses Madikela Mutaun. My company is Madikela Engineering Solutions. It specializes in energy efficiency and renewables. I started in 2009, but throughout my working career, I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I've never been just satisfied working for somebody. The company started uh, focusing in uh, water, water efficiency, and then it transformed in 2010 to an uh, energy efficiency company. And currently, we're now looking at renewables, uh, focusing on solar and uh, uh, biogas. I'm an innovative person. I like uh, developing products and services. So I wanted to actually own uh, the things that I develop. Being uh, proud about being African is, is about um, knowing that Africa is actually blessed with a lot of mineral resources. It's blessed with also natural resources like uh, sun, wind, you know, things that we try now to, to, to harness into bringing the energy era or renewables energy era in, in Africa. So Africa is actually blessed with all these things. And being an African and being an entrepreneur, I think it's high time that we need to um, make sure that we become part of these uh, discussions because these are the discussions that normally uh, people from Europe, uh, America, are at the centerpiece of what is happening with our economy. We need now to take uh, the reins and then become you know, the center of the discussions and then make sure that everything resol uh, revolves around us. We are African because Africa is born in us. 